a modern car can develop an acceleration four times greater than an antique car like Lanchester 1800. If they accelerate over the same distance, what would be the velocity of the modern car compared to the antique car? From our diagram here, we see that our initial velocity of both the car and the Lanchester are zero meters per second. Now for the acceleration, we're going to denote the acceleration of the car as AC and the acceleration of the Lanchester as AL. Now we're also told that the car accelerates at four times the rate of the Lanchester. So we can rewrite AC is equal to four AL. Now the final part of this question is asking for a comparison of the velocity of the modern car compared to the antique car. So we have to compare V, we have A, we have V naught, and we have delta X because they also specify that they move over the same distance. So if this is the initial starting point, they're all going to move over and we're looking at the velocity at this point in time here after they have traveled this distance delta x. So we need an equation that relates all these four quantities. So you would remember from your kinematics equations, the only one that does that in the simplest and easiest way is v squared is equal to v naught squared plus 2a delta x. Because this equation has every single one of these in it, so it's the best equation used for this scenario. Also because there is no time, the other two kinematics equations have an aspect of time into them, so we wouldn't be able to use those. Now we have this equation, we're trying to solve for the final velocity of each of them, so we have to change this equation around with a little bit of algebra to get in terms of just v instead of v squared. So to undo the square, take square root, but what we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So we're going to wind up with v is equal to square root of v naught squared plus 2a delta x. Now, the velocity of the Lanchester, so the Lanchester here, I'm going to find the velocity of that. So v of l, velocity of the Lanchester, is equal to square root of its initial velocity squared plus 2a l acceleration of the Lanchester times the distance it traveled over this delta x as we stated in the beginning. Now we plug in our knowns so the initial of the Lanchester 0 meters per second so 0 meters per second squared plus 2 al delta x so v of the Lanchester is square root 2 al delta x. Now we're not told what al or delta x is so we can't actually solve for a specific quantity for vl but all we have to do is find what the velocity of the car is in terms of vl and we will have our comparison. So now let's solve for what the velocity of the car would be. So now for the car we know vc denoting the velocity of the car is equal to same thing v naught squared plus in this case to ac delta x. Now you remember that ac is four times al so vc is equal to zero meters per second squared because its initial velocity is also zero plus two times four al times our delta x. Now vc is equal to square root 4 times 2 al delta x which can be rewritten as vc is equal to square root of 4 square root 2 al delta x. Now you notice that square root of 2 al delta x is in fact the velocity of the Lanchester. So we can rewrite the velocity of the car as the square root of 4 times the velocity of the Lanchester, but the square root of 4 is just 2, so we can write the velocity of the car as twice the velocity of the Lanchester, giving us the answer of C.